Krishna Jayanti. Krishna Jayanti marks the birth of Lord Krishna, the ninth incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Lord Krishna was born on the eighth day of the waning moon period, Krishna Paksha, in the month of Avavani or Shravana, mid-August to mid-Sep, when the ruling nakshatra, star, of the day was Rohini. Lord Krishna was born during the Dwapara Yuga, third epoch, around 5,000 years ago to destroy Adharma, iniquity, and impart righteousness in the world. The birth of Lord Krishna brought hope for the humanity, which was suffering until then. Other names of Krishna Jayanti include Ashtami Rohini, Sri Jayanti, Krishna Janmashtami, Janmashtami, Gokilashtami. Lord Krishna was born during midnight when it was dark, and once he was born, darkness began to fade slowly. Here, darkness symbolizes the obscurity that engulfs your heart in fear, doubt, ego, angst, and anxiety. Upon praying to the Lord, these dark elements are vanquished, thus purifying your inner self and rays of everlasting hope flow in. Significance of Krishna Joyanti Lord Krishna is the God of love and happiness, who is known for his blessings for a blissful life. Worshipping Krishna on his birthday shall also bestow numerous benefits including success in relationships and attainment of moksha, liberation. It is believed that Lord Krishna reciprocates the love and devotion offered by his devotees. Mythology behind Krishna Joyanti Lord Krishna was born as the eighth son of Vasudev and Devaki. Devaki's tyrant brother King Kamsa was told by a divine voice that the eighth son of his sister Devaki would kill him. Hence, he jailed his sister and her husband and killed their seven children once they were born. When the eighth son was born, Vasudev secretly carried the baby to Gokul across the Yamuna River and exchanged him with a baby girl born to a cowherd couple, Nanda and Yashoda. When Kamsa arrived to kill the infant, the baby girl appeared as goddess Dagar and informed him that his death had already reached his kingdom. Lord Krishna grew up as a cowherder in Gokul and later killed King Kamsa, which denotes the destruction of evil forces by the Divine Lord. Rituals of Krishna Joyanti Krishna Joyanti is widely celebrated in different forms across the country. Grand celebrations are held in states such as Gujarat, Maharashtra, Arissa and Uttar Pradesh. In Maharashtra, people celebrate Dahi Handi, curd pot, when people form a huge human pyramid to break open a hung earthen pot filled with buttermilk, the winners of the game are rewarded with worthy prizes. In Jammu, kite flying is organized on this special day. Generally, people keep fasting throughout the day and break their fast by offering special pujas to Lord Krishna in the late evening after sunset. Various delicacies are offered to the beloved God, decorated with jewels and flower garlands. Parents enjoy the occasion by dressing up their little ones like baby Krishna. In South India, little footprints made out of rice flour are drawn from the doorstep until the puja area, denoting the arrival of the Lord to their houses. 
Certain Vishnu temples also grace the occasion by reading verses from the sacred Vedic text, Bhagavad Gita. Fasting on this auspicious day can help you control your senses, which in turn helps in the manifestation of God in one's mind cleanses your system and acts as a divine tool to destroy your apprehensions and ego. Benefits of observing Krishna Jayanti Offering your prayers to Lord Krishna on Krishna Jayanti can bestow the following benefits, removes all obstacles and impart financial stability. Absolves your sins and sufferings. Grants prosperity progeny, and success, brings eternal blessings of Lord Krishna, offers protection from all evil forces. May the festival of Krishna Joyanti bring you happiness, peace and love. Happy Krishna Joyanti.